Hi, we are back for another one, Sustars. <laughs> I can't even do that with a straight face. Yo, why is he standing like that? Why? why? I'm just joking. Please don't cancel me. Let's start off with a quirk leveling order for my boy twice. Your two most important quirks are going to be your self-duplicate and your foot boost. You put your foot in them. Now, me personally, I prefer leveling up the foot boost first because it's movement based and you always want to get your movement up first. That's just my opinion, but I won't hate you if you work on self duplicate also. Now, I like to get my foot boost to level four first and then start working on self duplicate, get that to level four, and then go back to maxing out my foot boost and then maxing out my self duplicate. And finally, going back to dagger shot and then maxing that out from level one to nine just with the leftover points that we have for the end of the game. So, as I said before, your most useful quirk is gonna be your foot boost. If you space out your foot boost ability, you'll be able to gain the most distance possible by timing it properly instead of just bashing the button. If you keep just mashing the button, then you're gonna go really quickly, really fast, but you're not gonna cover much distance, but you can use that to cut corners really easily. The positive leveling this up first gives you four charges instead of only two, which is what you start off with. This is gonna allow you to maximize your movement more and finesse them boys like you need to. Now, I would not recommend using this ability to attack, at least if you do it, don't do it often. And the reason for it is that, it, again, is very unreliable, and you know I hate unreliable quirks. Now, the reason why I say this is that if you use it, it's no guarantee you're gonna get hit, even though you have aimed at this person or you may, or you may feel like you're close enough or in range. Range is really weird. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you just have to be really close to the person. At the end of the day, it's, uh, for me, it's like a 75% success rate, and that's not good enough for me to be using it for attacking. I'm gonna save this for movement and escape. However, if you are not having the same exact issue as me, then if you're getting really good cons consistency, you can't actually use this to chain attacks together. So even though this may not give you a whole bunch of damage, it can still be used for really good pressure. Another hidden gem is gonna be hidden within twice as melee. This is something you're gonna to wanna to use very frequently and pretty much always. It's actually a new movement tech. If you space out your melee attacks and you time it just right, you can get a huge boost in speed. And this is gonna be faster than your sprint and everybody else's sprint in the game. And then on top of that, you're also gonna be hitting anybody in your path. So this is gonna be phenomenal. This gives you more distance than dodging does, but it doesn't have the invincibility frames, but this is just so useful in so many different ways. Now on to the bread and butter. Self-duplicates AI is capable of using the alpha skill and meleeing. They suck at crossing gaps and they're not really good at jumping or climbing. But they gonna try though. That boy is stupid. And as useful as it would be, you cannot use your clone to finish off your enemies. Now what makes the clone so valuable and why you should level it up for the dagger shot is because having it out is what allows you to essentially double your damage. The clone's aim is actually really good, and on top of this, he's also a really good distraction. Imagine other situations where you can use him too and be really smart about it. If you're running away, you can jump into a bush and you can set down a clone and that's gonna confuse the enemy and make them think, you know, you're him for a quick second and you can go out the other direction. There's so many different situations where this is useful. Whereas for Dagger Shot, all you're getting is just a little bit more damage and not enough damage to really care if I'm being completely honest. And I'm just gonna throw this out there. If there's ever a situation where you're fighting somebody, you should always have your clone out. You should never be in a fight and your self-duplicate is off cooldown and you're just chilling and holding. Always have it out. Always have that clone out giving you the extra damage. Now, if you're outside of a fight, the clone is only useful to track down enemies that you don't already see if you think somebody's in the bush or hiding or nearby, so it's really good for that final circle for people who are hiding in the bushes. However, if there's nobody around, the clone is just gonna die and you just wasted your quick. Hey man, I just gave y'all a whole new movement tech and a whole guide on this new character and I gave it in the first 24 hours that it came out. I'm gonna need y'all to support me. Sub to your boy if you really wanna see more My Hero Ultra Rumble or any other type of gaming content and I'm gonna catch y'all later. It's your boy HT, we out. Okay, 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 we got this, we got this. 300, 300 tickets, let's do it! Okay, all two stars, no character. All right, run it back, run it back. Last time I got Endeavor, that was the first ever character. You give me two stars again. Mm, come on, come on, come on, mm, come on, come on. I got Endeavor once. That's the first ever character I unlocked. I gotta get another one. Come on, yes, yes. Let's do. Come on, twice. Let's go.